And that'll do it. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. The fourth title in eight years. The Dubs dynasty is still very much alive. With the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals this year, it was a bittersweet moment for Boston fans. The Celtics were finally in the NBA Finals again, but losing is never the goal for any team, especially a team as prestigious as the Boston Celtics who have always had a history of winning. So what's next for the Boston Celtics? What avenue do they take? How do they get better on an already great team? And how do they make it back to the Finals and win this time? Now let's go over the two avenues I believe that there are only really two options for any team in history to really improve on a great team. And one is to run it back with the same core of guys and maybe make it little changes during the offseason, maybe a role player here or there, but mainly keep everybody, mainly from the starting five, still intact and together. Now that is a great option. And then the second option is to make big roster changes to get rid of one of maybe two of your superstars. Trade Jason Tatum, trade Marcus Smart, shop around players, really rebuild the team. Now, I don't know if that's the best option because I believe this core guys has really shown that they can do this. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals as youngins. They also just almost won the finals and they still have a lot of, lot of work to do. These players are still young. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown still have a lot of growth to do. So I don't believe trading them right now is the best option. I would say give it one more year to see how they work and I'm going to go over both those options right now. Option one, what I personally feel is the best is for the Celtics who have just made it to the finals to just grow smaller here. Keep your main core players, maybe go get one or two offseason players in the free agency and I have two that I think will be tremendous for this team. If they can require these two players, it is game over for any other team in the NBA. So let's go ahead and go over option two, which like I just said, trading one of your superstars tatum or brown and everyone loves to throw their names out there every year one of those two are thrown in some sort of trade rumor and everyone wants to know who's 1a and who's 1b jason tatum really won over the title during the regular season as the 1a superstar for the boston Celtics. but mainly during the playoffs and finals it really shown that maybe we were wrong jalen brown is the 1a on this team no one still really knows who is the alpha on this team but either way they're two great superstars and trading one definitely has its downsides because not every trade is guaranteed in more wins. So I would say give it one more year with these two superstars, let them ride it out and see if they can become champions. So with that out of the way, option one, option two, not many options. Okay, so who's in the free agency? What players can make this team better than they already are? And it's simple. My first player is PJ Tucker. What do I have to say about P.J. Tucker? He's one of the most hardworking and gritty defenders in the NBA and is someone any team would love to have. He would also fit right into the game plan of the Boston Celtics of the defense first, you know, sacrifice for any other man on your team, always be willing to play both sides of the ball for 48 minutes. He is one of the most gritty, hardworking players in this league and he would fit perfectly next to anybody on that Boston Celtics team. And him, on, him and Marcus Smart on a team, forget about it. That would be one of the best defensive teams maybe ever. So with that being said, he is a free agent this year. He is getting a lot of a lot of looks. Some teams are offering him quite a bit of money. So it's going to take a bit of sacrifice on the Celtics part to go out and get him. But I believe someone like him, even though he's a, technically a role player, he plays a huge role in any team in becoming champions, as he did just win a championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. So what is the next course of action here? Another player? I got one more player in the free agency that could really make this team go to the next level. And the second player in free agency that Boston Celtics should go after is Carmelo Anthony. I bet you were surprised to hear this one because his experience in offensive production is great. But the reason this one is surprising is his defense. And of course on a team like the Boston Celtics, which is made up of all defensive minded guys, I feel like that really showed at times during the NBA Finals when they would go on scoring droughts and did not have really that guy to put the ball in the basket when Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown was getting doubled. So with that being said, you do take a hit on the defensive end, but he will not be playing long minutes. He'll be playing, you know, in spurts off the bench. And I think he can definitely give you 8 to 10 points a game. And his offensive production and three-point shooting and his willing to sacrifice he just shown last year is something that any team could use. And to be able to get him at a good price, I think Boston can use this, you know, really use this offense from him. This is something that will go great with P.J. Tucker, and they can swap in and out with offense and defense firepower. So that is my second player I think the Boston Celtics should go after. Now let's move on to the last. The last is a TBD, a to be determined. 
any player that's going to show up in the buyout market or get bought out from any team and that is going to have to be someone that can play make and play the point guard position there's many players that might get bought out you got rajon rondo you got someone in free agency which might be a good option as goran Dragic. he is definitely a good option just trying to find someone that can initiate offense because at times during the finals as you guys saw they had problems getting the ball around there was a lot of turnovers no one really held possession of the ball for very long it wasn't the best to watch because they don't have a true playmaking point guard on in the you know in the starting lineup or on the bench so if you could get at least one he doesn't have to be a full starter you can keep Marcus Smart as your starter but to have someone come in like a Rajon Rondo play 10 to 12 14 minutes a game and really set up the other players on your team that could go a long way in winning a championship as you see what Rondo did for the Lakers in 2020. So thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know in the comments what you think the next course of action the Boston Celtics have to take to become NBA champions. Until next time.